every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high, tell them. Alright, y'all got this package and I want to open it with you guys because I've been getting a lot of things for the house. I think this is equipment for editing actually. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it is because my I ordered a couple things off Amazon last night and they're fast. But recently they're not that fast and I'm not mad. I'm not I don't I'm not a person who really tracks like packages and stuff. I'm more of a patient person when it comes it comes, you know. So I'm like I don't know what this is, but I have a feeling it's a it's a Yeti, I guess a microphone or a recording. I don't know, it's a microphone. It's a microphone and I got a new one. I have bought another one from Best Buy that was more on the affordable side, put it that way, but I decided to get something else because the microphone that I did get from Best Buy is just not adjustable for my voice. I don't know if you guys can hear it on my voiceovers. That's why I really don't like doing voiceovers to be honest with y'all is because when I do the voiceovers, it just sounds bad. This is a big microphone. Is this the right thing? That's crazy. It's a lot of bubble wrap. Y'all see the size of this thing and it's heavy. That's crazy. Whoa, that's crazy. I love the packaging though. I appreciate the 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 people I bought it from because you know you have to be careful. I'm not good at ex explaining it, but I believe it's a blue kitty. But I did my research and this is what I wanted to get. I decided to get it refurbished or just used. I got a used microphone, but I mean, it looks it looks in great condition, great shape, and it was less than a new microphone. But I was expecting something smaller. This is a whole podcast microphone. Like this is a professional one, bro. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, but this is wow this is this is a game changer voiceovers are gonna be crisp now okay and i will try to get the the information because i like to leave all of my information down below if you guys look at the description box i tell you guys what cameras i use if you guys were curious what i'm gonna be using from now on it's going to be this baby right here so you can adjust the volume okay okay and then oh you I'll mute, okay, okay, and then bam, other side we got pattern, I don't know what pattern means, pattern, okay, pattern, we'll see, and then gain, not sure what gain means either, but can lower, can lower that, change the settings on that, and then, you know, whoop, whoop, it's, it's very, it moves, ah, okay, so if you roll, oh, fancy, so I was, th I was like, why is it so loose, I feel, so, any position that you want to do, you know, move it around. And then th these little grippers on the side right here, these will, bam, make them tight so they won't move at all. So, you know, we make it tighter, 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 tighter. Bam, bam, bam. It's not moving. And then, you know, you can loosen it back up and then adjust the angle of it. Okay. And then the stand, just the stand overall. I feel like I'm holding a Grammy, like, I feel like I'm holding a trophy, bro. Thank you, I just wanna say thank you to my mom. And then here are the wires for it. So, you know, you hook this part to your computer or whatever, or wherever you need to hook it up to. And then this will go, where does this go? So next, I, I'm thinking it should be at the bottom. Yep, so you can do headphones too. You can put your headphones right here could do i don't know what this is for i think this is to hook it to something else bam hook it here and wherever else and you're good to go now i guess the only downside about adjusting it is i guess i could just do it like that and then put the wire in here okay so i was worried about the angle if i want to put it i don't know guys i'm thinking too hard shout out to the person that I bought it from because I really appreciate the packaging. Listen, packaging goes a long way. Packages are mishandled every day. You know, the workers, Amazon workers, the FedEx are all overworked. So I'm not saying I'm justifying them throwing packages, but even at the warehouses, that's what they do. And then 
Guys, this is very embarrassing. My last video I went to Five Below. And one thing about me is once I have something in my mind, I will not stop until I get it or at least know in, in my head that I tried to find it, you know? So I was like, bro, I have to find what I was looking for. So I went to several stores several several stores and i couldn't find it couldn't find it and then i went to this one ducked off five below found everything so number one are we surprised i found luke skywalker and yoda these are all the other pops you can get for star wars collection i think i did show you guys this in one video maybe not though i looked at this shelf and i let it go and i was feeling so guilty because when i looked back on the footage i was like man bro i should have got it Luckily, this five below had it, so bam. I love the color, it's a beautiful green. It's like a light green. And then, I wasn't even gonna get these, but these were so cute, I couldn't pass them up. Oh my goodness, can you believe this? Oh, rip me out the plastic. Rip me out the plastic, I'm gonna the brand new. <laughs> so cute, ah, hi. Hello Kitty and friends, but wait. We got the main character too. Oh, we got the main character too. And there's Hello Kitty. Look at this rug. Look at it. I hope you guys are seeing it because I can't even see him. I mean, are you kidding me? And it's a big size. Do you know what this sells for in another store? Probably $15, $20. But you know what Five Below does? Five dollars. Five dollars. And then this was just an extra fine. This was in something that I saw on TikTok. And I was like, oh, this is better than the flower. This is better than the flower, don't at me. Look at this, look at this, y'all. It's a strawberry with flowers for $5. Again, this will go for 20, 25, even 30 if you're that desperate. They know, if this was a Target, they will try that. They will try that, but five below, they know we're on a budget. You know we're on a budget. Now I'm gonna put these on the floor and show you guys so y'all can see that. Look, bro, oh my god. Bruh, stop, stop, stop right now. Stop what you're doing and run to Five Below right now. That one's my favorite for sure. I love both though. Hello you guys, today is currently Thursday, July 27th. I'm currently making some pasta and I just got back from my mom's house so I, I will show you guys a little Things that you brought me from Ecuador. She did go on a trip, so she brought me a couple things. So I want to show that. I don't know about y'all, but whenever you go to your parents' house, they let you take. I'm not saying they let you take anything, but you know, whatever you need, toilet paper and all that. They're like, hey, here, you know, take it. At least that's how it is whenever I go to my mom's house. So I love going to my mom's house sometimes. I just surprised me with some flowers, so that was nice. So we're gonna do the little little bouquet together. Guys, tell me why the flowers from the hospital, not from the hospital, the flowers that were sent to me from my job, they still look great. I will show you guys after I do the flowers, but they look great. I will say though, if I didn't water them, not every day, but every other day, if I hadn't watered them, they already would be dead. Give y'all a better angle of the flowers. So pretty. Ah, I love me some roses. Fill this up with water. If y'all have any tips on how to preserve flowers, let me know because I have no clue. All right. Put the little flower food in here. All right, this is the after. Look at how beautiful. See, I've been maintaining these really, really well. I've had these for about two weeks now and they still look fresh. I think the ones that are holding up the most are the purple flowers and the green. Beautiful. All right, so I asked my mom for a big, what is it called, a tumbler, I guess that's what it's called. I asked her for one of these and she got me this. I guess she really wants to make sure I'm hydrated, but I mean, I appreciate it. Hey. I think these are pricey, so I appreciate it. I definitely will be using these. I might look crazy going to work with this, but honestly, I don't care. I don't have to go back and forth and get water, so I like it. It's red. It's cute. Then she went to Ecuador, and she got me this beautiful, colorful table. All right, y'all, I had to relocate because there's just too much noise going on, and I swear every time I press a cord, 
it's a lot of noise so at this point i don't even care but back to what i was saying so my mom got me this from ecuador this is a table like a table what is it called in english it's for the table and it's really really long probably gonna use it in the living room table for now and then what i like to do since my table is so short not long i just fold it and you can't even tell this looks very ecuadorian <laughs> it looks really nice and i like the colors i love it then i got some tomato sauce this is one of those things that i told you guys earlier whenever you need some things from your parents house you just get it so i got some tomato sauce and then this is something that she got me but she said that she bought four of these for a deal so she just wanted to give me one because she bought four so it is called turn up the heat it's a flat iron protector so i don't really iron my hair much but when i do definitely need protection then she's a big fan of pins you know pins for your hats and stuff so she got me this statue of liberty pin i honestly think she wanted to get rid of it because i'm pretty sure she didn't get this from ecuador so she just she just probably wanted to get rid of it and then this one is from ecuador this colorful pin it kind of looks like a rubik's cube very nice might be from a museum looks oh yeah it says for puzzle cubes yeah very nice so i've got that and then from ecuador she got me this little bird that stands up it's just a decor piece it's a little bird it's purple she got it for me because my favorite color is purple and that's the stand very nice very nice i thought this was a napkin ring holder for a second but she said it's not then she threw in a piece of chocolate i was just about to say i'm not even sure this came from ecuador but it literally says made in ecuador so it was made in ecuador so let's try it. it's called pacari pacari premium premium organic chocolate from the tree to bar special edition and it's dark chocolate i don't love dark chocolate but let's see it says 65 percent manabi i like the packaging if you guys didn't know dark chocolate is actually good for you you're not supposed to just be eating dark chocolate every day but i believe like a little piece a day helps don't quote me on that i don't know i'm more of a white chocolate type of gal looks like a regular chocolate bar you do little pieces so let's just do one piece bam one piece Yeah, you can really taste that dark chocolate. It's just so different from the rest of the chocolates. To me, it's almost like it's not even chocolate. Because the taste is just so unique. I'm going to eat it all, but... Mm -hmm. Unique. Very unique. It's hard to digest. <laughs> well, I'll try to remember and eat a little bit a day. No promises. Okay, these next two pieces, I believe, are Halloween decor. So this, this, what I'm about to show you, is our very first spooky decor that we're going to be putting in this new apartment. So we got different color leaves, like the fall. She gave me a little little pumpkins this is a green pumpkin we have a orange pumpkin and we have different sizes yellow pumpkin i hope y'all can see that they're small we have the lid i love it because it's not too big but not too small to where you won't see it it's a perfect size especially for the kitchen we need to put it on the stove top cute idea so she gave me two pumpkins the same size very cute thank you mom i love it i might leave this out i might put them away i'm not sure i think it's still too soon to do halloween decor but mm, y'all let me know down below what y'all think is it too soon for halloween decor or who cares yeah two more things she got me this cute little mug from ecuador she loves collecting mugs just like me but she likes collecting little mugs that's different and look at how unique and colorful this mug is. This is what I mean by I want color. And all the colors in this mug are perfect. Perfect. I love all the colors. I'm really loving this green. It's so cute. And then these are just little houses. We got the, we got the church right there. And you can tell it's handmade. That's what I love about different countries. We're so unique in that way. And then last but not least, she actually bought me this lipstick a while back. But I haven't seen her in a while since my car 
situation so she got me this wear lane girl lane i don't know it's in the color rouge number six y'all can see that i just got the lipstick not the mirror because i have the mirror for it already i have the mirror in another lipstick because i have another shade in this same brand so i can't even remember what the color was it's been such a long time since i saw my mom so this is what the lipstick is it looks cuter than what i remember but it's so cute i love it and that is all my mom gave to me this is what it looks like i put it on the table and it actually fits perfectly so i don't i didn't even have to fold it what do y'all think Y'all think it's cute? Do y'all hate it? Do y'all love it? I love the patterns on it. Another purchase that I made is the other day, I went to Pop Show. I only got two things, but I want to show you guys. Don't think I'm a shopaholic because I'm not, okay? I promise I'm not. I got this candle, and this candle, well, it does smell, but it doesn't really smell like, I mean, it smells a little lemony. But it's, it's just for decor, y'all. It's not, I'm not actually gonna light it. The other candles that are in my coffee table are from Pop Shelf as well. So if you guys were wondering, I believe these are only $5. And then I got this one. This is new. I have not seen this type of candle at their store. So when I saw it, I had to get it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the coffee table and then save this for something else. Besides Pop Shelf, I finally got a part of my amazon order that we talked about i don't know if it was in this video or last video but i got a package from amazon what is this okay this this is going to be a game changer for the car videos i decided to invest in this gadget if you are interested in getting this or are interested in a car mount do your research first. This is the one that I decided to get and this one is from Amazon. It is linked on my Amazon storefront which will be linked down below. And I decided to get the three-legged one, if that makes sense, or the triple mount because the more mount suction, the better it's gonna grip to the car. So initially I was gonna do a double mount but since I have two cameras, one that's lightweight this one and then my other one that's very 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 bulky i decided to get this okay i know what these are so you guys know me i'm always on tiktok i don't know if you're always on tiktok but i sure am and that creates a bad influence and it creates a add to cart effect so i went on amazon because i saw a tiktok of this girl organizing her closet and she had one of these things and my closet now is really big and i'm gonna put all of the clothes in one rack or most of the clothes in one rack and so it's gonna be hard for me to tell what's going to be separated how i can know in my head but eventually i will forget because i've tried this method over and over again and i always forget so i got a little label label er so what you do is you put this you know you hang it up in the closet you can either label this with whatever winter clothes shirts pants and label it in sections kind of like a binder and that way when you're you know scamming to find your clothes you can be like hmm, okay this is where all my pants are even though you can see all your pants there sometimes you need the guidance let's say for example if it's short sleeve shirts versus long sleeve shirts what if you're in a rush you can also write on this with a marker i don't know if it came with a marker so that's a good question let me see because i saw a marker on the on the advertisement oh you do get a little marker it's very small but you, you get one and with these label things the one that i decided to buy is the one that comes with 30 it's a lot i know i don't need 30 i know but essentially if you decide not to use a label maker like i said you want to write it with the provided pen then you can throw it away if you want to throw it away and then use other ones you know what i mean that's why i got so many and it was cheaper to get 30 instead of getting less y'all know how that is the little deals where they try to get you like if you get more it's cheaper than if you get less and you can also do different colors you can do white you can do colorful ones literally yellow red pink i initially picked one with all the different colors because maybe in my head i could just color code it instead of labeling it but honestly again that's not realistic i'm going to forget it was affordable i think it was nine dollars and yeah we got the little pen right here i don't know if it's blue oh no it's white 
get this back in the box. If I can get it back in the box. Is that a problem for you guys? Is it ever impossible for you guys to put things back in the box? Because how did they get it in the box to begin with? The next thing I got, this is for my car. These are blind spot mirrors. So in my last car, I had these little mirrors that I'm about to show you. And after that, I can't, I can't live without them. I'm sorry, I just can't. These are the mirrors right here. So you put this on the mirrors outside of your car. You guys know what I'm talking about. You put it somewhere on top or at the bottom or wherever you want to place these little mirrors but you place it somewhere where you can see the cars because essentially this is like the name says it's blind spot mirrors so it shows you what you cannot see with the mirrors that you have on your car right now some cars have them some cars don't my new car doesn't have it so i definitely definitely added to cart as soon as i got the car last but not least we got this big box right here all right so this is for my closet as well this is to organize my closet my shoes to be specific so these are clear boxes for you to put your shoes inside it shows you how to build it let's do one together it says i'm not good with directions so plan to be here for a while you unfold this this is the box right here it's pretty simple you unfold the box then you what the heck they already lost me, what? Five minutes later. So far, I hate this product. I hurt my eye trying to assemble this thing. Just doing one box is mission impossible. But this is what it looks like done. It took me like 10 minutes to figure out. This is the back. This is the front. Open it. Close it. Super simple to open and close. And then you can stack it. Y'all see these little, I don't know, this right here, you can stack it. At least you know that your shoes are breathable. Got the little holes right here. I look back at the footage, it's a little blurry, I apologize. These are what the bins look like flat and then you have to be careful. So this is the back and they also have the doors down here. So make sure you use per box, use one of these and one door. Don't make the stupid mistake I made and do two of these. I know, common sense, but I'm dumb. So just letting y'all know if you guys want to buy these. Also linked on my Amazon storefront under the organization tab. Five years, I am finally done. 